Okay, we're back. And I'm going to modify the tension into the negative. I just grabbed all these guys and I dragged into negative here. And then I've with these frames selected, I'm going to hold down my control key and then with my right mouse button, I click and drag and let go. So it just cloned all these keyframes and put them over here. And now from here to there, I want this to be linear. All right, and then the last ones just before they lift off, these can be tension of one. So he hits the ground. You know, we don't want it to slow down to a stop there because it's, it's a falling object. So a nice steady descent and then static and then it eases up on its way. Lift way to lift out. So let's take a look at that. Now from here, the toe will start going back into the mode where it's lining up to the thing. And this time we will not use stepped. Oh, I need to choose my favorite set. There we go. So I'm going to set a keyframe here. And then uh, let's try from that to that frame there. Set a tension of one there. See how that works. Yeah, that's good. Now, the only problem I see with this animation is that's not too natural, the, the way the uh, foot is moving. So I'm going to have that like this. And, oops, I'm always doing that. There, that might look a little more natural. I just need to modify the duration of that toe thing. See how that looks. Yeah. And of course, now the foot will start to pull this way. But here's the, the crucial part is the actual step. So there's the actual rig and actuality speaking. Sorry, I'm saying actual so many times. So let's go in perspective view and recap what's going on. Yeah, that's nice. Remember this, from here to 10, this is not part of the walk cycle, it's actually from 10 on is I'm going to go real slow because I just realized I'm only recording this at 10 frames per second. So there you can see. So that's it. Just keep in mind that when you rotate this controller, you only rotate the heading. Actually, I don't, probably won't even need to use the bank unless it's doing some fancy, real fancy footwork. But you only need to uh, rotate the heading on this controller and when of course you you use the the pitcher for your pitching as a separate controller and that lets you automate control of the heel and the ball all in one thing so then the only other thing you have to worry about is tweaking the toe control as it penetrates the floor 
the ground floor. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something. You know, let me know if you're going to use it in your rigs. I'd like to see what you do with it. And of course, uh, enjoy CARM3D.net for all your graphics needs, even though you already have LightWave, so you probably don't have any graphics needs. Have a good day.